After almost two months of cycling through Malaysia and Thailand, we've made it to the most challenging part of the journey so far. We're going to continue north, hugging the Burmese border as we make our way into the Mae Hong Son province. Mae Hong Son is famous for its relentless climbs, steep gradients and its remoteness. We've only just started the uphill climb and it is tough, super tough. Oh, how are you feeling? Leg burner, innit? Lung burner. Doing well here, babe. You're smashing it. <laughs> smashing it, babe. It's uh, 12 o'clock and we've just made it to the point where, you see the sign here, Mount Clui. This is the mountain we was at yesterday. Oh, so it's taking us from, it's up about half seven. It's taking us half seven till 12 to do what took 25 minutes to drive up. Whew. Top of the hill, baby! That's uh, the end of another lovely day. Yes. How was your day? It was the toughest day we've had so far for me in terms of physical toughness. It was at another level really. Just the hills were... How are you feeling now though? Brutal. I feel good. I feel tired. Very tired. But like the sense of satisfaction of, of doing those hills and getting here is high it's good yeah we've found a little camp spot and it's right next to a river it's next to a national park center so there should be some showers and somewhere to fill water up but have a look at this view look at this Last night we camped at a national park, a welcome centre, which was really good. We had a big tap, showers, toilets, we had a beautiful view of the river, which is absolutely amazing. We've also got taps, so we've been able to fill up our water bottles and be able to wash our clothes. And so it's almost as good as a hotel. <laughs> Chiang Mai or Mae Hong Son. We'll be deciding tomorrow. For now, let's spend the afternoon in a hotel. So we've arrived in Mae Saliang. Mm -hmm. Mae Saliang? Yeah. What's your name? Joe. Joe. Yeah. I'm Adam. Madam. Nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you. We, um, we make videos of our travels. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. So <laughs> we've um, just arrived at our guest house. This is one of the best rooms we've had by a Thank long you. way. This Probably is amazing. Can. Uh, and we've got great space for the bikes. Let me just show you now. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> so we've left our hotel, but we're still in Mei Saryang. We're having a nice rest day today. We have decided to take it a little bit more easy and we'll explain why. Um, so over the last few days I've been feeling 
a little bit emotional, <laughs> as usual. I am an emotional soul. I was finding the hill climbs extremely tough. It was the toughest thing ever done physically in uh, in my life. It was really, really exhausting, both physically and mentally. It took everything, uh, all of my strength. So the prospect of doing that day after day after day in order to get to Chiang Mai in time to then have some rest days to get out of Thailand before our visa expires, it really stressed me out to be honest and I just found myself crying as usual just because of the pressure I think of having to do this, these days and these climbs in such a short, well not a short space of time but you know with a deadline. What we came up with and we realised we've got a 60 day visa and we're using that a little bit like our deadline but that doesn't have to be our deadline. In Chiang Mai you can extend your visa if you have a 60 day visa and you can get another 30 days. It's a fairly simple process. So we've worked out, it's now the 8th of November. We've actually got to the 27th of November to really get to Chiang Mai. So that gives us a really decent chunk of time to do these seven tough days of cycling. We worked out that seven days of cycling, we can have like uh, 10, 11 days off the bike. And it just means that we can do the route that we planned that Adam really wants to do, and that I really want to do, but we can do it much, much more slowly, take our time, have rest days, let our bodies, and my mind, recover, um, and really enjoy it and take our time. And that is just feels so much better. I think one of the things that is key for any cycle tour is a balance between making the distance and rest and enjoyment. And the moment it goes too far one way, uh, it, you, you can risk failing so we've decided and there's something that we need to keep reassessing is are we resting enough are we enjoying the trip enough mm. and if you're actively dis like not looking forward to something that's for us both to talk about it and mm. work out a solution yeah definitely. so we've done that we've got a solution this is going to be the slowest May Hong Son loop in the world <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But it's our route and it's our cycle tour and everybody that does a cycle tour does it slightly differently. Everyone's just doing their own what they want to do and what's right for them. And I didn't want to give up. I didn't want to hitch a ride or get a lift or a taxi or anything like that. But the prospects of doing it was really scary. But knowing that we're going to do it really slowly and take our time and have rest days is just really perfect. So there we go. Um, that's our plan.